What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am an energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general, not the general, <laughs> the what you need to hear right now for somebody. So let's see who's going to get this. I also do have my social media in the description box if you guys want to go check that out. Libra. What's up Libs? Thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Libra as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. The energies might be reversed, so take it how it resonates and leave the rest, okay? All right, so Libra, this is going to be about what you need to know right now, what the universe wants you to hear right now, so it's going to be short and sweet. All right, so let's see. Libra, what do we need to hear right now, Spirit Libra? What do we need to hear at this moment? Libra. We have the Seven of Cups, okay? So... They're talking about an illusion here. Something that you have created for yourself because under the impression that you wanted something so bad that it's like you created this, I want to say like this dream fog around you that because you wanted something so bad, you weren't seeing something for really what it is. Okay, you have the Three of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Five of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I mean... That's why you're in pain right now, because, again, you made something seem a lot better than what it really was. OK, and it's just and it, you don't have to feel bad. Like, I'm not trying to make you feel bad either. I'm just telling you what the cards are saying. We've all been there, done that. OK, <laughs> like all of us. Um, and this happened really quickly. OK, with the eight of wands here, with the five of cups in reverse, I see you trying to get out of. I'm getting like a bad miss, a bad choice that you made here. Like you're trying to get yourself from feeling guilty for choosing something, but don't feel guilty, okay? Because this is a learning lesson, right? And now that you're here, you're realizing that you did this to yourself, right? You created a certain illusion because you wanted something so bad. And that's also the thing that, you know, I had to learn as well that if it's if it's not meant to happen, it's not meant to happen no matter how bad we want it because our mind gets stuck and f and and fixated on certain things and kind of disregards the fact that not on purpose, you know, but it kind of forgets that we are here to evolve and to learn and to grow. And the things that we want at one point are not going to be the things that are going to be beneficial for us in the long run. Um, so the mind tends to make decisions based on right here, right now, you know, not in the future like the intuition the intuition makes you not makes you but suggests <laughs> that you do certain things that are going to help you down the line and that's why a lot of us don't like to do the things that our intuition tells us because we're like why do you want me to do that like that's not happening right now who cares right but then you realize down the line oh yeah i should have done that and you know the intuition prepares us for what's to come the mind you know, allows us to understand what's going on in the moment. <sighs> anyway, um, but yeah, that's kind of what they want to talk about here. Let's see why they want to talk about this, why are they bringing this up. But again, don't feel bad, all right? This is just a learning lesson. Now you can apply this to every part of your life now, and you'll be able to, um, when things don't work out or things you see things are going left, you'll, you'll allow it to go left. You won't try to do whatever you can and make it go right because you're actually causing more friction, more static, more challenges, more difficulty. Okay. I don't know why I feel like I have to do this again, but we, we're doing it, okay? <laughs> All right. Why is this happening to, to Libra? You have the Knight of Wands in reverse with the Four of Coins. Yeah. I feel like it's because you didn't want to let go of something that, again, wasn't, it wasn't, um, it wasn't, I feel like this was upright first, the Knight of Wands. I feel like it was very charming. It was very exciting. It came in really fast here. And because you didn't want to let it go, it turned into the complete opposite. Like, I feel like it came the same way it, it left the same way it came. You know what I'm saying? Quick and erupt. Like, I don't know. King of Cups, the Sun in Reverse, and the Page of Coins. You were ready to let for this. First of all, what I want to say is you this 
you letting this go, you are ready for it. Even though it doesn't make you as happy as you would like, letting something go that we're emotionally um, invested in is nothing that is easy. So, of course, it's not going to make you as happy as you would like, but you know that you have to with the Page of Pentacles. It's like you're... Um, oh, okay. I got, I got another message. Um, with the Page of Pentacles, it's like you know that you have to take your offer elsewhere. You have to start over somewhere else, okay? Um, for others of you, I feel like you might be offering this energy another chance or you want to. And they're saying that you need to, with the Hermit here, you need to take some um, self-reflection, all right? Because realize what what has happened what is already going on here because with the higher frame reverse and the justice of reverse it's like this is an unfair situation for you and it doesn't make you feel like yourself this is your card the justice card and it being upside down is like you're not feeling yourself you're not <clears throat> truly you don't feel like yourself in this connection and it doesn't match your morals and your values anyway okay and i also feel like you won't be learning a lesson if you try to offer something this something like a new offer to this energy because it's going to fall right right again with the tower. Okay. All right. So let's see what um, the advice is for you. Um, I have so far water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I have... Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oops. Okay. What is the advice for Libra? You have the devil. <sighs> this is hard for you. Ace of Wands in reverse, the Moon in reverse, and the Eight of Cups with the Two of Cups. Yeah, this could have been a relationship or a commitment to somebody, a friendship, whatever. Um, wow. It's like, wow, it's like you finally got what you wanted with the Ten of Coins here. And you realized how like small it actually was when you actually got it. Like, I feel like you were hyping something up, maybe. But the advice here, um, Libra, is to look at your obsession, right? Look at the things that you obsess over, the things that you know you shouldn't have in your life or you know that it's not wanted and you still want it. You know, why is that? Because things keep not working out for you. Um, with the Ace of Wands in reverse, it's like you keep trying to um, start something new and it keeps failing. You keep trying to start something new and it keeps failing. And it's like you know that you have to walk away. This is not something that is um, a secret to you. Like you've been aware. It's like you've tried too many times. You know that you have to walk away. But there's a part of you that like still wants it because, again, it's like the Ten of Pentacles is here. So I feel like this was like the ultimate thing for you. Like the family, the money, all of that with the dog and the cat, okay? But I feel like your intuition is telling you that, yes, there's love here, but it's not equal love. It's not love that you'll get the same that you're putting in at the moment, okay? And I feel like it's okay for you to love this person, Libra. Just you don't have to be with them. You don't have to give them your time, your energy. Like you don't. But you can still have love for this person. And some people don't understand, like, just because you leave somebody, you're not with somebody doesn't mean you don't love them, right? It's just like, I can't, I can't give to a situation that's not giving me what I need, right? Like, we're both, we're both in a freaking cabin eating, like, we should both be sharing meals. We should both be, you know, um, this is an example that came into my mind, like, you know, splitting the, um, the chores and you know you do this and I do that it shouldn't be always me doing stuff right even if it this is the even if this is the ultimate thing that you want it's like push comes to shove you have to realize and that's why with the devil here it's like you're not it's like you're 
your wants are overriding your needs. Okay, you want something so bad, but you don't need it. It's not it's not helping you positively in any way and you still want it. And that's kind of what they want you to really focus on. Because whatever this is, you can get something way better than that. And that is when that's how you deal with obsessions and is you telling yourself, I there's something way better out there. There's something way better out there. Every time you get this um idea this obsessive idea that keeps coming into your head all the time or keep thinking about something all the time <clears throat> just tell yourself there's something better there's something better i don't want that there's something better and the more you tell yourself um the easier it'll be for you okay because i've been in that energy before too and it's very hard to get out of it it's not easy at all you have to really work hard and be consistent within yourself <clears throat> and know what the truth really is right because the mind will try to trick you and be like, oh, no, but this. Oh, no, but that. Even though the facts are what they are, you know. All right. I'm sorry. I talked a lot with you guys today. Um, Libra. You have purity. Yeah. I feel like somebody here feels um, guilty. And I don't feel like you should feel guilty here. I feel like um, everything happens for a reason. Okay. This was supposed to happen. New beginnings, yep. So you can start your new beginning here. And you had to learn a lesson through this energy in order to do that. A lot of people, you know, that that's another thing too that we have to understand that sometimes we have to go through certain paths to get to our own. And I feel like this was a path that you went through to get to the path that is meant for you. And I feel like some of you guys wanted to stay in this path, but it's like it wasn't meant for you to stay in it. You were just meant to learn the experience and keep going, all right? You have love. Yep. You have to love on yourself right now. You are the most important person and you have to pick you. And whoever is not picking you does not deserve your time or your energy. Okay. And you have flexibility. Yeah, Libra. Things definitely are going to, um, you're going to have to become a lot more flexible with things because things are going to become, I don't want to say bad because they're not, but it's like changes are going to come up that you weren't expecting, okay? And, and it's not nothing crazy. It's nothing crazy. You're just going to have to adjust, all right? Because with the Seven of Cubs here, once we come out of this dream state that we put us ourselves in, this illusion, this thing that we thought was going to be something and it wasn't, once we come out of that, we start seeing all the things that we were neglecting. We start seeing things that we kind of put on the back burner, Okay, for the thing that we that we were imagining. So that's what I'm saying. That is why I'm saying that. Okay. But I'm gonna take this potential. Yep. Things are things are oh, what was that? New beginnings. Look at that. <laughs> yep. This new beginning is gonna have a lot of potential for things to actually happen. So allow it. All right. That's all that I have for you, Libra. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.